before human. Wait, not before human. Become human. And I just walk around. It, uh, Marcus actually matches you. I don't know about that spelling, but Marcus not too matches you. And this is a rich house. Like, they got monies. Who's Carl? Uh, uh, oh, oh. Uh, okay. So animals not a real anymore. That, that makes, that makes me feel a lot better. So not only got money, they got fake animals walking in this place too. What was that, fake zebra? <laughs> An animated zebra. Everyone losing these jobs, but these people living the life. Oh, there's a goat. Where's your car? Which way's your room? Tell me the way. I think the car room is downstairs. I went there first. You guys said upstairs. Which way's Carl's room? I'm gonna take this way. Is this Carl's room? I think it's Carl. It might be Carl. Carl might just be an old guy. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees. 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. They still use Fahrenheit, okay. Sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? Mm -hmm. You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. <laughs> Thank you. I think I just open my eyes and I'm they're like gritty my teeth. I think that personality prototypes is for the people. Like Marcus do kinda got a cool machine. personality or I can already tell by his voice. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. Yep. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Don't drop him, Marcus. Don't drop him, Marcus. I can already tell I'm about to drop him. I'm gonna drop him. I can already tell. So this is working. Don't drop him, Marcus. Is Carl like the creator of androids? He seems to look like he studied androids. I, I would imagine someone who only androids have a lot more, but I guess you got just one android. And a couple of birds. Apparently, birds could be our androids. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's. It's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. I'm just pressing up. I Any don't even know if I'm able to turn. I am able to turn. Fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. Uh, 
I think your wire's messed up, Marcus. You just went in a circle. I would like to have my breakfast before noon, if you don't mind. Yeah, I, I would too. I just don't think you're supposed to go downstairs. But I, I, I work with it. I mean, oh, yeah. They got those machines. Uh, okay. Okay. You're not gonna thank me for waking up the stupid birds? Wait, am I supposed to go that way? Dining table's in here, right? I really don't know. They don't give a direction. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. <laughs> How did you even get the time to make breakfast if you wasn't in there? It's the open door for teammates. Nope. I don't, I don't understand how you even made them. What is it? How? What in the world? There's no way all that kept it heated. Why didn't you have this be prepared before you picked up Marcus? Not Marcus. <laughs> I'm Carl. Russians ain't playing. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl. What? Yes, I will find something to do. Can I play the piano? Okay, I can tell you that it looks like a mess. No, I don't want to read the thing. Put the thing down. I don't want to read. Wait, why do they want it? That is a good question. Now I want to read it. Uh, oh, okay. So I don't. We should go get the North Pole people. They, this game already tells us how to make androids. That is sweet. Okay. Television off. Mankind is so depressing. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. Five thousand years of civilization just to get to where we are. Mm. You seem like you're getting mad. Um, can I play piano? What if I do? I just look at you. So I love looking at books. Yes, I do love playing piano. What's the other option I can do? What's you over here? I can play chess with myself? That's awesome. I love playing chess with myself. I'd rather play the piano than any... I mean, I like reading books. The piano is beautiful. Marcus, can you play it beautifully too? Um, hopeful, intimidate, and dramatic. I don't even know what half those words mean. Hopeful, the only one that seems like it's good. Oh, okay, I get it. Oh, oh, that's raw. Oh, that's amazing. I want an Android now. I want an Android. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's clean. Okay. Go, Marcus. Okay, so you slow down while I'm going too fast. I got you. Let's go, Marcus. Let's go, Marcus. I'm playing the whole song, guys. I'm sorry. This thing's beautiful. Is that the whole song? yourself and make your choices decide who you are and want to become this world doesn't like those who are different marcus don't let anyone tell you who you should be let's go to the studio yes Carl. you're supposed to say yes carl say yes carl supposed to say yes carl <laughs> Sweet. Uh, okay. Do you even paint? I bet you the robot paint. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. Okay, let's go. Where is that? I thought it would be something like beautiful notes. Oh, it's a oh, are you painting Carl? I have a slight feeling he's painting Carl. That'd be cool. No. Can I get Android just so they could be our friend? I mean, I think I think that's what I need the most help with. Uh, all. How did that box get there? The box is teleport. What was that? You have no other robots, but Carl. Uh, but not Carl. Marcus. <laughs> I never. I'm never gonna understand how stuff teleports in this game. <laughs> The my reality is supposed to be showing. Wait, did I clean it off? Wait for new instruction. Okay. Uh, like 
Yes, there is something about it. Mm. What is it? Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. <laughs> the truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. More Let's about see you. if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? What would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. Yeah, you do got a personality. Wow. So they can, they can have personalities? Like they're allowed to? I mean, even with car, everything. Like car seems so automatic to me. I can't remember. Even the uh, dude in, the, even the dude that went saying, this dude got. What am I supposed to do? Find a subject to paint. No, no, I don't care about the paint there. No, something do better. Paint cars, paint. Paint the desk. Is there nothing else you can paint? These are the three options you got. You're killing me, man. Oh my god. Fine, we, we go with desk. a perfect copy of reality the painting is not about replicating the world it's about interpreting improving on it showing something you see Carl I don't think I can do that it's not in my program I... go on go try it grab that canvas okay Thank you, now. Now let me break his system. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. I mean, it, it, he, he's a half to right? imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Identity, humanity, or android identity. Uh, despair, doubt, prisoner, or prisoner. Go, Marcus. Oh, my God. Hey, Dad. in the neighborhood I thought I'd stop by it's been a while right you all right you don't look so good oh yeah yeah I'm fine <laughs> hey listen uh, I need some cash dad again hmm. what happened to the money I just gave you uh, well, it just goes you know <laughs> yeah yeah you're on it again aren't you no no, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? <laughs> Tell me, Dad, what's, what's it got that I don't? It's smarter? More obedient? Not like me, right? Mm -hmm. You know what? This thing is not your son. 
It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. Knees on drugs. You never loved me. He just gave you money. Even I heard it. So it's humanity and androids are gonna by the identity. Huh. We're all stats. So was, oh, doubt? So it was the identity, but you guys just like had a doubt, huh? Copy desk, copy statue. Yeah, everyone's like, no, nah, not the painting. Hopeful? Okay. Play piano? I'm happy with that. Go on the. Okay. Okay. Is this is this car again? I'm a positive this car. Nope, it's detective guy. We could do this. Doesn't matter, you're a police officer. Fire Lieutenant Anderson. Best on it. No crime on the record. Good boy. Alright guys, my aim is off. Lieutenant Anderson, found him. Ha ha, Where, who are you? The security guard. DUI. Okay, you sir. What's your problem? Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening, a homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance, especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Uh, Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? Never mind. Top. I apologize, Lieutenant. I didn't mean to bother you. I'll wait for you outside. Take your time. Did you say homicide? Wow. Okay. okay.
Why do cars still look like that? Whatever you say, Josh Douglas from Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Typical DVD didn't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. Hello. What part is staying? Her order contradicts. The lieutenant had to pay his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Well, it was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. He stayed inside okay. most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Wow. I'll stay these in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. night. Could've waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a Red Ice again? Good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a ki kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The left. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one. But it wasn't here when we arrived. Okay. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Yo, CSI. Uh, criminal sub a scene investigation or something like that? I forgot. <laughs> oh, I can actually scroll down this? That's not right. That's not what I did. I was saying, can I actually scroll down? Okay. So apparently Android still stalk people too. Okay, so the android was attacked first. Each letter 
is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? My name, Chris. Hey, if it's an android, why would it have a religious offering? Question mark? I would say so. We're taking sample. Dampen the victim's body. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Okay, so... How much does he weigh? So you can't say that again? I imagine weigh much more heavier. Okay. You leave it? Is there something I'm missing? Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... Uh, in the bathroom. In the bathroom. I think you should look harder at the mess in the kitchen. I think that's where it all started. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... With a bat. With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. Right, okay, <laughs> that's better. The victim stabbed the android. No. The android drew the chair. Maybe the android stabbed the victim. The okay. android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Yeah. Okay, then what happened? Victim fled to... Not the bathroom. The living room? Tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. Mm -hmm. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. Uh, 
It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Move it, fool. Jesus. Wait, why does the blue blood go in here? Is there something we're missing? Why didn't you make a religious carving? That is a good question. Sorry, I keep saying that guy's just kind of boring. That was stupid. Okay, what are you doing? So, the window, right? Question mark? Okay, so back to the bathroom like I went the first time. Chair, you're a genius. Whatever your name is, does it tell you name? Do I, do I get the name? What's, what's your name, bro? Bro, what's your name? Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Uh, check something. I can see him from where I'm at. <laughs> Apparently it's not him. Okay, RK-800. Found you, fool. Coming to get ya. Don't. 
tunnel. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh, shit. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now! Come on! I don't get to make the decision. That's messed up. Question mark? So I'm guessing I could have just not found him all, saved his life. Oh, it's car. Okay, thank you everyone for watching this. I'm going to end it here and I'm going to name that one car. <laughs> so I'll see you all next time. Thank you guys for watching. Everybody have a nice day and see you all next time.